I thought I'd do a video on choosing the best cat food that you can when you don't have the best choices. So I went to the Dollar Tree earlier today and this is the canned cat food that they are currently selling in the Dollar Tree. And each one of these cans was a dollar. So they are 13 ounce cans and uh, they're a dollar each, which is a pretty good deal which is pretty much the going price for standard supermarket brands of cat food. Normally you get a 5.5 ounce can for a little bit less than 50 cents. And if you multiply that by two, that's 11 ounces uh, for a little bit less than a dollar. So for these cans, you get 13 ounces for a dollar. So if I had no other options and Dollar Tree was the only place that I could buy canned cat food, which one of these would I buy and feed to the cats? So let's take a look at these four foods and let's pick the healthiest food out of these four. So from left to right, we have the Nine Lives Meaty Pate Super Supper, followed by Nine Lives Meaty Pate with real beef, followed by Nine Lives Hearty Cuts with real turkey and cheese and gravy, and followed by Tender Morsels with real chicken and sauce on the right. So right away, just by looking at the front of the cans, number three, the Hearty Cuts with real turkey and cheese and gravy is going to be eliminated because it says it has cheese in it and I won't feed the cats any dairy products. The reason why is because dairy products create congestion in the body. In a cat's body, in a human's body, just in general, they create congestions. So if I don't want the cats to get cold and flu type symptoms, if I don't want them to get sinus infections or ear aches or ear infections or respiratory tract infections, then I am not going to feed them any dairy products because it's been proven that milk and cheese and any kind of dairy products create mucus and congestion in the body and they lead to those types of symptoms. And I can tell you from personal experience when I stopped consuming dairy products in 2015, it took a year and a half to detox all of them out of my system. I went through so many cold and flu type symptoms while I was doing that and I have not had any since then. I've not been sick in years. So this is the first one to go. That leaves us with these three. Now, if we look at the one in the middle, we can see that it says with real beef. And normally I choose not to feed the cats beef. I choose not to feed them pork uh, or lamb. I basically choose to feed them proteins that they might hunt in nature. So when you think of a cat living in the wild, they're not hunting cows, they're not hunting pigs, they're not hunting lamb. They are hunting birds, they are hunting rodents, they are hunting small animals. That's why I choose to feed cats proteins that are closer to their natural diet. So while it says real beef on the front of that can and I would normally exclude that, we're gonna take a look at the ingredients in all three of these cans and we're gonna make a better choice. One other thing that I want to point out is on the left, it says meaty pate super supper. It does not tell you what kind of meat is in there. In the middle, it says meaty pate with real beef. It mentions beef. And on the right, it says tender morsels with real chicken and sauce. So it mentions chicken. Okay, so let's take a look at the ingredients. The number one ingredient for the two cans on the left is meat byproducts. Now, when it says meat byproducts, we have absolutely no idea what kind of meat that is. Notice it does not say chicken or turkey or beef, it just says meat. That could be any kind of meat. So we have no idea what kind of meat uh, is in that first ingredient. And the ingredients are always listed by quantity. So there's always the most of the first ingredient and then they're listed in descending order. So the last ingredient is what there is the least of in the can. Um, the one on the right, the first ingredient is water sufficient for processing. But the second ingredient is meat byproducts. And on the two on the left, the second ingredient is water sufficient for processing. So what this tells me is the two on the left have more meat byproducts in them than the one on the right. So other than that, they're pretty much even. Let's take a look at the third ingredient. On the left, we have poultry byproducts. 
And a poultry byproduct is anything other than muscle meat. So when you think of a chicken breast, that's muscle meat. And a byproduct would be like a liver, a kidney, a heart. Uh, it could also be beaks or feet or anything like that. It's anything other than muscle meat. So the one in the middle, uh, that's beef. And one on the right is chicken. So right now, uh, based on the first three ingredients, the one in the middle and the one on the right look like they're the best so far. Let's take a look at the fourth ingredient. The fourth ingredient on the one on the left is chicken. The one in the middle is poultry byproducts. And the one on the right is fish. So they're still kind of even at this point just because uh, it says poultry byproducts does not necessarily mean it's a bad thing because in the wild cats do eat an entire bird from uh, beak to tail and the majority of it could be considered byproducts because much of it is not just the muscle meat. But let's keep going. Let's look at the fifth ingredient. The food on the left, the fifth ingredient is fish. Uh, the food in the middle, the fifth ingredient is chicken. And the one on the right the fifth ingredient is wheat flour. That means the one on the right is not as good as the other two because here we have wheat, but the other ones so far are all meat products. But let's keep going. Let's, let's see what the sixth ingredient is. For the can on the left, it is brewer's rice. For the can in the middle, it is also brewer's rice. And for the can on the right, it is soy protein concentrate. So that immediately excludes the can on the right, which is the tender morsels with real chicken in sauce. I am not going to be feeding the cats any type of soy. Not only is the majority of soy genetically modified, it can be extremely toxic. I know from firsthand experience many, many years ago, I switched to soy milk and soy products. I had so many side effects from it. I it gave me headaches, joint pain, uh, bloating, puffiness, mood swings. It was just absolutely horrible. And then once I got off the soy, all of those negative symptoms went away. So that's when I first learned from firsthand experience how toxic soy can be. So I'm not gonna feed any kind of soy to my cat. So right away, uh, this one is excluded. So this leaves us with two cans left. Uh, we have the meaty pate super supper and the meaty pate with real beef. So let's keep looking at the rest of the ingredients. So on the left, um, we said brewer's rice, then it goes calcium carbonate, potassium chloride, salt, trisodium polyphosphate, guar gum, and dried whey solubles. Dried whey solubles is a dairy product. Whey is from milk. So that means the food on the left has dairy products in it. And let's look at the food on the right. Let's continue after brewer's rice. Then there's guar gum, potassium chloride, salt, caramel color, sodium tripolyphosphate, carrageenan. Carrageenan can be iffy. Uh, it's not the best ingredient, but I'd rather have carrageenan than dairy products. Natural flavor. Choline chloride, taurine, vitamins. It goes through the vitamins and minerals. And it goes through the minerals. And that's what's in the food on the right. Now the food on the left, after the whey solubles, it also includes carrageenan. And then it goes into vitamins and minerals. So the clear winner, and what I would choose to feed to the cats, is this Nine Lives Meaty Pate with real beef. Even though I'm not a fan of feeding the cats beef, and even though I'm not a fan of feeding the cats meat byproducts because we have no idea what animal the meat comes from. Out of these four cans of food, this is the healthiest option. Now I do want to point out that it does say meaty pate with beef, so don't think this can is beef. We have no idea what kind of meat is in this can. We have absolutely no idea what kind of meat we're feeding our cats when we feed them any of these foods because the number one ingredient is meat byproducts. And I really wish pet food manufacturers uh, were held accountable for their ingredients and they couldn't just put meat byproducts. I really wish they had to specify exactly what kind of meat was going into their foods. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, 
and have a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.